Angela Maker and welcome to Tiddly's Christmas Kitchen with me, Tiddly Me Harm. You know, goose used to be the commonplace bird on the Christmas dinner table until, well, really till the end of last century when turkey replaced it. But goose is making a comeback. It's certainly my favourite bird. And if you don't know how to cook a goose, let me cook your goose! So here's my goose. He's quite a big boy. He's just over three kilos. And the first thing I always do is try to find if there's any remnants of quills left in the skin. And if they are, I just pull them out either with my fingers, because I've got some quite strong fingers, or some tweezers, or some pliers or something. So go over the bird completely and pull off any of these things. Sometimes you'll find a tag on the wing of a bird. Just cut that out. You don't really need that. Okay, that's not too bad at all. Now then, geese are quite fatty birds. So what I like to do first of all is remove big wadges of fat like this out of his backside. Just scoop it out with your hands because there's loads of it. I never quite understood why geese have so much fat in their backsides. I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. Inside you can also feel a windpipe. Amongst other things, and just grab them, pull hard, and they should come out. This is more like a horror video than a cooking video. When you finish messing around with the backside, Go around the neck end and do the same. You can get rid of this scroggy piece of neck. Fantastic! So I've got a mixture of huge amount of fat that I've pulled off the bird. I've got some innards that I've pulled out. And now all I have to do, since he's now covered in gunk, is give him a good clean. I like to give my goose a nice little bath in some cold water, wash him all over, change the water, and flush him through from top to bottom. And finally, pat him dry with some kitchen towel. Make sure you dry him on the inside as well. So my goose is nice and clean on the inside and the outside. Now I'm going to prick the skin a few times. This is something that I use for um, corn on the cob, if you're eating corn on the cob. Puncture the skin a few times because we're going to degrease the birds to begin with in the oven. Now my oven is at 190 degrees, 370 degrees, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And he's going to go in there for just 45 minutes. Now while the goose is cooking, and you can probably hear him sizzling in the oven in the background, I'm going to make a stuffing. And I'm going to do a very simple stuffing, it's a rosemary and mushroom stuffing, but you can use your favourite stuffing. I've got 250 grams of chopped mushrooms, 2 cups or 120 grams of breadcrumbs, this is actually from rye bread, but any breadcrumbs will do. 10 spring onions or scallions. Uh, which I've chopped up. If you can't get spring onions, then just use one normal onion chopped. If you're a bacon eater, use four rashes of bacon, but I've actually got some halal chorizo. I've used five slices, which is about 100 grams, nicely chopped, and a tablespoon and a half of rosemary. I've melted 60 grams of butter in this pan, and I'll add in the spring onions and the meat. And I'll just fry these gently until the onions go soft. This has been cooking for about three or four minutes. The onions are nice and soft, so I'll add in the mushrooms. And I'm just going to cook this for one minute, no more. After a minute, the mushrooms should have absorbed a lot of the butter. Turn off the heat and transfer it to a large bowl. 
add in the breadcrumbs and the rosemary and mix it all together. Now your stuffing's ready. So after 45 minutes your bird should be slightly golden brown. Now lower the oven temperature to 150 degrees which is about 325-320 Fahrenheit. Now once it's cool enough to handle pick up the bird and drain out any of the excess fat. I'm going to put him on a plate to one side take off the rack and you can see the amount of fat that's already come out of the bird. one side in a bowl. In quite a big bowl because there's going to be quite a lot of fat. So I'm now ready to stuff the bird so I'll pop it in through his backside in spoonfuls at a time. Okay I've got all the stuffing in and I'm going to make sure it's pushed to the front of the bird. I've got the rolling pin here. I'm just going to ram it in, push it right to the front. So now I've got the bird on a trivet in my roasting pan and I've added about a quarter of an inch of water into the bottom. I'm going to baste it with a mixture I've made out of one cup of orange juice and a quarter of a cup of honey and it'll give it a nice sweet uh, texture to the skin and also give it a nice golden brown colour. Right. My oven's at 150 degrees, now rather than try and explain to you how long to cook the bird for, I'll pop it up on the screen. Remove the bird from the oven and baste it with your orange juice and honey about every 35 to 40 minutes. Half an hour before the appointed end of the cooking time, take your bird out and check it. Now if you have a meat thermometer, put it in the thickest part of the thigh and it should read around 90 degrees centigrade. Otherwise when you put a skewer in, the juices should run clear. This is nicely cooked. Finally, transfer to a plate and leave it to rest for at least 15 minutes before you carve it. After 15 to 20 minutes, carve the beautiful brown meat inside. And I tell you, it's really juicy. Try a goose for yourself while they're still in the shops. Join me next time in Titty's Christmas Kitchen with me, Tiffany Hahn. Until next time, <sighs> bloated halfies! <laughs>